Hi, it's Denise. <clears throat> Running away from home. And Joshua is back. His dad bailed him out. And he came in the house today. Nina brought him, his girlfriend. And he hugged me and he cried. <clears throat> and it's good to have all my boys loving me again. Thank you, God. Thank you. Kind of an up and down day. This gets hard. <laughs> this gets hard. Loving people is hard. When you put conditions and boundaries and things of that nature to keep you, you apart. But here's what I'm learning. And the lesson is retaught every day. Love them through it. Just get right down there in the whole messy humanness of it. And when they're being naughty, when they're being hurtful, when they're, when they hurt you without realizing they're hurting you or they hurt you on purpose. The thing to remember is don't take it personal because it rarely is much as we want to believe that everything is all about us. It's not. But it is my experience that people will need love the most when they least deserve it. Which isn't to say that people don't always deserve love. But it's to say that when you feel the least like loving them is when they need it the most. It's very hard being human. <laughs> I don't know if I would ever sign up for a human life again, but I wouldn't mind another life because I would have a home of my own. And I would be so careful that I would never lose the home until they carried me out on a stretcher. Today is the 12th day of June of 2022. It's 11.30 at night. I'm all medicated up, except for the medication that I love the most. And I'll do that soon. But I've taken all my night meds. I took a dose of morphine today because of this pain. Same pains. It's Sunday. Tomorrow is Monday. I don't have anything going on tomorrow. Tuesday, Lisa will come and help me shower, clean my room. And then Wednesday we have the meeting, Bruce, Jason, and I with the medical social worker to talk about the plan for when I'm no longer able to care for myself, how that's going to work out. And I think Lisa was telling me on Friday without actually telling me that I don't say please enough. So I'm going to work on that. People tell you things. It's important to listen. I also miss Christopher's face, and when I held Joshua and looked at him, I held his face in my hands, I realized how much I really have missed him. Oh my God. He is so funny.
she's actually hilarious. Don't you break that girl's heart, Joshua Bruce. She would appear to be a very good woman. Don't hurt her. Intentionally. And if you hurt her unintentionally or accidentally, you just apologize. It's important. I have had this crappy headache all day long. But it is easier to breathe now. I guess staying out of the basement as much as possible and using my machine and making sure that I do at least four breathing treatments a day will help with the lungs if not the headache. So I got to see Bella today. It's really funny because Jason says she can't wait to see me. She asks to come see me all the time. <laughs> and then she spends most of her time spying on me. She likes to spy. I bet, I bet, I know she's really curious. I bet she would do really well in research. I bet she'd be a really good cop. A detective, even. Private or affiliated with a police department. I wonder all the time how they're all going to turn out. How will they turn out? What will Grace's life be in juniors? And little Josh and Elizabeth and Meadow and Gideon and Jenna. How will Jenna turn out? How will this thing with Josh turn out? I just have to wait and see. But all in all, the day started badly, but has ended very well. Good night.